You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. What's up, YouTube? This is Brant, our third-rate duelist. We've got Brant here who's going to do deck profile for us. So, uh, what's your plan today, Brant? I was playing Virtual World today, man. All right, you want to talk about it a little bit before we get started? Uh, Shin Shin, go bird. <laughs> <laughs> Shin Shin is super strong right now. So. All right, well, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, start out, you got three Lulus. It's the Stratos of the deck. Um, it's just good for extending and starting plays. Then you got three Lao Laos. Um, this is Monster Reborn for the deck. It's I usually side the last one out uh, because it's the worst one to open with. Then you got three Lilies. It's a double Foolish Burial. Uh, card's busted. Got three GGs. Uh, this one is good for end phase. It just recycles Lulu. That way you've got a play to go next turn. And the goal is to uh, resolve as many of the virtual world names as possible in a turn. Uh, Nian Nian, play two. Uh, this is one of the only ones that doesn't activate in hand. Uh, but this one is a really good extender. If you summon a level three, you get to bring it back and it becomes a tuner. If it's banished, uh, you get to put any banished card back. So it's good if Desires has kind of not been nice to you. Um, and then I play the one Toto. It's actually this came up a lot today to make rank sixes, especially to go into M7, which we'll get into later. But uh, it was a really good extender today. So that's it for the virtual world names. And then hand traps, I was playing triple droll. Uh, cards nuts, I saw it every hand, every game, and it's probably why I did pretty well today. Took second, so did pretty good. And then we got three ash, pretty standard. Um, not much to say about it, and it's a level three, so it helps with, uh, if you brick, it helps with Nyan Nyan. Uh, I played two ghost spell, and that was it for hand traps. A lot of times the ghost spells got sided out for DD Pros. And then for the spells, we have Kowloon. Uh, this is the best starter in the deck. Uh, gets you access to Cheech, which starts all your virtual world monsters in hand. Then we got the Queen Longs. Uh, this card's nuts. It's my Winda out, it's my Zeus out. Uh, it's Imperm on field, it's Rhoda in the grave, and it works under Imperial Order, so it's. Pretty nice. I only got the one super, so I'll get there. Uh, something I'm not a big fan of, but I ended up doing was uh, Triple Pot of Desires. I saw it a lot, and when I mean a lot, I mean I used it and then drew two Desires off Desires. So, <laughs> um, Foolish Burial Goods. If you're not playing Foolish Burial Goods, I don't think you're playing Virtual World right. Uh, it turns into Rhoda in this deck. So. I got the Power One Ofs Called by the Grave, which stopped Alancia today, and the Ulti Itelli. <laughs> and then for the traps, we got the two Chooch, the one Zonwu. Uh, Chooch was super annoying. It stopped Verte a lot today, um, and I don't like Verte, so it's pretty good. Zonwu is good. It actually came up on the field today because I bricked and it uh, stalled out a turn long enough for me to win. And then Imperial Order was a last minute addition to the deck that I'm glad I made. Onto the extra deck. Um, level nines, we got Shen Shen and Vermilion. Uh, level sixes, we got the Coral Dragon and the Stardust Charge Warrior. If it's sent, you draw a card. If it's summoned, you draw a card. It's just good for adding discard fodder. Uh, Muddy Mud Dragon. This card was absolutely nuts today. It's uh, I made it almost every game, and I can end on two cards that we'll get into. Um, Crystal Wing and the Ultimate Zulkin. It was just a negate, and it helped. And then into the Xyz, we got the 75, 
and the uh, brake sword. Brake sword I didn't want to put in here, but we ended up doing it anyways, and it came up. So, kind of glad I had it. Uh, rank sixes, we got the photon strike bouncer. It was good to have the negate. Uh, M7 came up a lot today to I actually added at, added back ash off of this which was pretty funny um, Ender Blathnir it's a Dragoon out it's I can rip a card out of their hand and then the Zeus uh, Zeus go burr too that one was this won me a game today and then because of the muddy mud dragon I've got the Dragoon and the Kaliga Kaliga was MVP of the day that's what won me a lot of games today so uh, explain what Muddy Mud Dragon does. So Muddy Mud Dragon uh, can make itself uh, become a fusion material listed on a fusion card. So it's because I'm ending on uh, Ultimate Zulkin, and uh, I usually have Shen Shen and Crystal Wing at this point, I can use the Mud Dragon and this to either go into a Dragoon or I can go into a Kaliga. And I was ending Shen Shen, Kaliga, Crystal Wing with a Chooch, which was super strong. And there was one game I even ended with Imperial Order on top of it. So I I just like auto won to that one. The card is nuts. Mud Dragon for sure. And then I got the side deck. Um, I had the Feather Duster and the Cyclones. Uh, Feather Duster only went in in place of Imperial Order. If I, was, if I knew I was going second. Um, then I had the one ghost spell. I had the two in the main, but just in case I really needed it, I had it inside. And then the two DD Crows. This is what was going in my deck all day today in place of Bell, uh, which I was actually surprised about. Uh, Lancia, I didn't need it today. Um, my first matchup was Drytron, didn't need it. Uh, after that, it was like Scrap, Orcus, Striker nonsense, so I probably should have played it in that one, but I didn't. That was the only one I lost today. Um, then I played Dark Ruler. Um, I used this to get over Dragoon today once, and then I was scared of Dragoon, so I played three Gamma Seal on the side, and I'm glad I did because that won me a game. All right, cool beans. Well... Uh, make sure you let us know down in the comment section below what you guys think of Brant's Virtual World Deck Profile. Seems pretty interesting. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and later YouTube.